May 4th this year, Star Wars gave us Tales of the Empire. It was somewhat a sequel to Tales of the Jedi and gave us three whole episodes on Morgan Elsbeth. And there was also three episodes on Barris Offy, but that's a video for tomorrow. Today we'll be taking a look at three scenes, one from each episode of Morgan Elsbeth 3. And I've also built a custom minifigure completely different to the one I built for the Ahsoka series for each of these scenes. So let's go straight into it and take a look at Dathomir. So as I said, each of these three scenes have their own Morgan Elsbeth minifigure and this one's pretty cool with the markings on her face in white rather than gray using the Valkyrie head. But if you do want to build any of these minifigures yourself, I will have a short up detailing all the parts that are needed. But for the Dathomir scene, you can see there is a branch just at the top that Morgan Elsbeth can hide away from, but there is one of these commando droids that may have just spotted her, given away her location. We also had to put the general in with his green and blue saber. He's absolutely terrifying in this episode. I mean, they've really got Grievous's character down to a T. It reminded me of the Tartakovsky Clone Wars and some of the Dark Horse comics because they really do capture the just the scariness of General Grievous pretty well. We've also got the tree burning around Morgan Elsbeth, just like was mirrored in the final episode. A lot of things burning around her, I guess. And then a few dead plants and muddy floor just to create the burnt floor of Dathomir. It seems quite a muddy planet, so Grievous does need to watch where he is stepping. But I think this has really captured the scene quite well with the flames in the back. If I turn it around, it does look quite good from the back. I've used a bunch of these arch pieces to represent the trees. They are quite, I wouldn't say curvy, but they do have these sort of angles that you can see in the show. And Morgan is just floating on top there. So perhaps I could have added some studs, but I quite like the way that even this scene has the little play feature. Perhaps Morgan can jump down and attack the commando, but she has to wait for Grievous to pass. So this is the first scene. Once again, this is a pyramid. I'm getting a bit more creative with these, not having the two walls on the side because they don't necessarily all need to stack together. So this is to represent the attack on Dathomir, which is something we definitely need to get in Lego. That would be an amazing set, even if it was just a battle pack with two commandos, two night sisters, it would make for a pretty cool set. But the next episode is Elsbeth meeting Thrawn for the first time. So if we put this to the side, we can grab our next scene. And it's not actually got Thrawn, but rather Ruck, or in this case, Korg. I guess they haven't released a Ruck minifigure, which would be really cool to see. But Rebels has long passed, and I think so have our chances of getting Ruck. So Korg makes a good substitution for this model, but I really like this Elsbeth because I've used the Clone Wars Palpatine shoulder pads to represent her jacket flowing around her. It looks so good in the show, and I think this captures it very well. As you can see, there's not much to this because she is on the top of the bell tower above the gate, which doesn't really have many walls. So I've tried to detail it with ingots and all the different shaping that the wall has. And of course, where Thrawn will eventually pop up. But I think this was an awesome duel. I just had to capture it because Ruck was made out to be a really good bounty hunter. I'm not sure if it was a bounty hunter or just Thrawn's personal assassin, but he was really, really good in Rebels. And the fact that Morgan not only held up her own against him, but also bested him in combat. And you can see she used her best guard spear, which probably is what gave her the upper hand because of how awesome Beskar is. But I really, really did like this duel. It just showed why she wasn't necessarily on the Empire side when it comes to bringing back Thrawn and why she didn't do it for the Empire, but rather for herself. And there's some great storytelling there. But the third and the final scene is from the third and final episode where we get to see the New Republic arriving on the planet. And it's actually where she sets fire to the world. So once again, some great storytelling. And I have built the little bridge that she stands on. And actually, it's the same one she duels with Ahsoka. So I could probably get an Ahsoka minifigure on here. 
but I'm afraid I don't own Ahsoka yet. That will all change with the advent calendar, but because she's coming in that set and we're meant to be getting Sabine in a magazine, I don't think I'll be picking up the T6 anytime soon. But I really like this version of Morgan Elsbeth. It does use the mall torso to get the red underneath, and it is a different head to the other minifigure. I have tried to use as many different parts between these minifigures as I can, and I felt the different expression was definitely necessary for this minifigure. Now, as you can see, there's a bit of greebling on the back. It's nothing too special, but I do think it really does improve the model. And I've tried to keep this somewhat accurate to the scene. Of course, the dome on the top of the right there would have been a little bigger, I'm sure, but this is meant to be a bit further back. We've got the water down below, which I was so expecting something to jump out when we kept getting the shots of it in Tales of the Empire. And I'm a little disappointed there isn't some sort of fish pet. It'd be the equivalent of Jubba's Rancor. And Elsbeth would just be able to knock whoever she didn't want around into the water. And this giant fish would just gobble them up. And there's always a bigger fish. But of course, you know what we're going to do with these three scenes. We're going to stack them up. We have to at this point and try to get Elsbeth sitting on top of the tree. So let's take a look at what it looks like. And you can now see the silhouette from the thumbnail in capturing basically all of Morgan Elsbeth's story. You've got her beginnings on Dathomir and why she was initially going against the Empire and trying to fit in with their ranks to destroy them from the inside. Then you've got her meeting with Thrawn and more importantly, taking on Rook and besting him in one-on-one -on -one combat. And then you've got where she picks up in The Mandalorian and she not only takes on the New Republic, but then Bo sends Ahsoka to best her and get the spear for Mando. And then she meets again in Ahsoka, which I will just show off the minifigure I built for Ahsoka. You can see it's a bit simpler to the other minifigures, but it still gets the point across. And I've actually given her a nice green glowing sword, which she uses to duel with Ahsoka, which is another awesome scene. Morgan Elsbeth is a really, really cool character. And I think I will be looking on Bricklink to see if these parts are cheap enough to keep some of these minifigures in my collection. Once again, there are shorts detailing the parts I've used for each of these minifigures, so definitely check them out. And if you've come here from the shorts, let me know down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like if you did enjoy the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome LEGO content. And may the bricks be with you always.